scientific knowledge, the technical ability, and the materials to pursue the exploration of the universe. To ignore these great resources would be a corruption of a God-given ability. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Hi everybody, this is Harry Jacobs and I am the North of 60 Gamer and this is the North of 60 Gaming Channel and welcome. Today we're going to look at Martin Wallace's Rocket Man. We're going to unbox that and then we're going to do a playthrough eventually, probably in the next few days. So join me at the table to unbox this brand new game from Kickstarter. just came in the mail yesterday. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button. We'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And if you want to be notified, hit the bell. So welcome and let's get started. Uh, so before we get to the game, I just wanted to show you these. I picked these up from uh, Amazon today. Uh, they just came in. Meeples of Might and Meeples of Menace. Kind of a cute little, uh, little heroes, little minions. And we've got dragons and orcs and demons and knights and kings. And I'm, let's just open up the uh, this one here really quick. Comes in a little bookcase, which is kind of neat or cute, I should say. I don't know whether it slides out. There it is. Is it going to slide out for me easily? Nope. Oh, it's a... Ah, oh, there we are. There we are. Cute little meeples. And we'll just pull them out a little bit really quick. And a bag for the bag hoard. There we are. Look at that. Here we come. Let's just bring that up a little bit. There we are. We can show you a meeple there. This is a cute little meeples. There's a guy with an axe. I thought this would be a nice enhancement to some games where, you know, they got a little... You want a little something more than just a, a token. We won't open the minions, but I like the quality. I don't think this cost, uh, cost me about 30 bucks. Well worth it. It was Amazon. Meeples of Might. Meeples of Menace. Now, to the main event. Martin Wallace's Rocket Men. This is the box that it came in. I kind of left it in there because there's a bunch of stuff in there. So, uh, let's open it up. And first off, we have the neoprene mats. Now, these are cool. I love neoprene mats. You know me, I love quality of life items, and this certainly is a quality of life item that comes with the game. So we have our discard areas, our holding areas, our launch area, our deck, our mission, and discards. We've got places for our tokens and whatever else is up there. Super different colors. I assume they match the tokens that come in the box. And that is the first thing that we looked at. Very cool. I, I'm looking forward to it. This, this is so cool. This I liked. Here we go. Now they came with some metal coins. Throw them over here. There are, there's some nice metal coins. This is kind of neat. Not quite sure what this is yet, other than it's a liftoff. Looks like a shuttle. There we go. Liftoff. Rocket Man! Oh, sorry. The child in me wants to play with the toy. But this came with it as well. I'm not sure if it's used in the game or it's just a miniature of some sort. Let's hope it is, because I really would like to play with it. We have the Deluxe Miniature Sets. And I have no idea what's in there. I will take the Implement of Destruction. Hopefully we will not cut myself and go running to the hospital today. My wife would not enjoy that. I am joined in my little studio with uh, by Chloe, my chihuahua. Apparently she did not want to deal with the other dogs. She's laying quietly on the floor. Let's open up the... Oh, look at that. 
little nerd boxes, different colors. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so cool. Wow. Just, just, just super wow. I don't know what they're all used for, but I suspect these are for marking the various missions that you do and the planets you can go to the moon, to the Earth, and to Mars. Very relevant today, you know, as far as, I'm, you know, manned flights, satellites. We'll have to see what those actually substitute in. A billion standees. Oh, these are for the actual miniatures. Wow. And posts. I'm not quite sure. Wow. I don't know how these are going to get used. And if I'm going to use them, how do I store them? Oh, my gosh. It looks like they go on these things. Um, wow. Okay. Wow. I guess when you buy the deluxe stuff, you, you get a mitt full of really cool miniatures. Of course, that doesn't, what, that's not what makes the game, you know, the gameplay, but I mean, who doesn't like, well, there we are. Who, but who doesn't like really cool miniatures with their games? Let's see if that fits in there. Not really. Okay. We'll just put that over there. However, now we're into the main event. Let's just remove the box. There we go. There's poor old Chloe. I just disturbed her by throwing the box beside her little pillow. She's... There we are, another implement of destruction. Phew, another safely, uh, safely um, shrink wrap coming off without cutting myself and uh, injuring myself. It's not a big worry, but you know. This is by Phalanx Games, by the way. So this is the box. Now, if I suspect it's correct, there's going to be rules at the very top. Oh, look at that. I'm not sure. Oh, oh it's the component list. It is the rules, as you would expect. Listing all the different components. First player tokens, rocket tokens, moon tokens, mission cards, all the usual stuff. There is the setup. I believe it's available on Tabletop Simulator for those who didn't buy it but want to play it. It is a deck building game in which you will send missions off into space and get victory points for doing different things, but it is a deck builder. You will buy cards from the market to help you launch your mission into space. I believe there's a solo uh, variant, card, card, card. So there, solitaire rules. So, oh, so there looks like there's a, is there an automa? Hard to say. Oh, an a, there's an AI. You will compete against an artificial intelligence. Select a pair. Your AI playing uh, six mission tokens and one victory program. Okay. So there is a uh, solitaire rules. That's good. We'll get, probably do a solitaire playthrough. And here is the board. Oh, there's a. Looks like there's a few boards. Not too many tokens actually. I don't know if I can show you the whole board here or not. And we'll turn it around so it's up so, so it's right for you. There it is. I can't really go out any further than what I have here. But there is the board. We have our market area down there, so everything goes basically on the board, which is nice. It looks like we have some Space Aid Kit, which is basically your reference cards. Not, whoops, not that many tokens, which is good. We have cards, and, and there's plenty of spaces for uh, for us guys who like to uh, sleep. You know, I am OCD. The requisite bags, I've got actually token holders that I'll use. Uh, it just makes life a little bit easier, though I might, if, if it has to do with starting, I might set up uh, the, the starting cards, that's what I usually do with little baggies and each each person will have their color uh, in, a, in a baggie. Is there anything else that we're looking for here? We've got our, oh, there's more storage, lots of storage. So I actually, I probably won't even use the store. I'll probably just play right out of the uh, thing right here like that on the side of the board for tokens. So a nice little storage solution, always welcome, welcome. 
there's the boards if you don't use the nice neoprene mat. I, I don't know if the neoprene mat is absolutely needed. Uh, I, I mean, as I said, I'm a big one who really enjoys, you know, having a good quality of life board game and really good components, so I don't mind paying a little bit of extra when, when they do have that. Probably most likely everything that's in the box replaces these markers for the different colors. These are tokens for bonuses, so when you do a space race you get different bonuses like uh, rocket, uh, money, a resource of some sort, plus one, I have no clue. But that is what was in the box anyway, so um, the cards, well, let's open up some cards here. These look like the standard mission cards, I'm not sure, it's hard to say. Let's open that up without cutting myself again. Whew! Made it again. I will sleeve these later. These look like Euros, as opposed to American Standard. Uh, they were like, uh, I think these would be yellow, if you were looking at FFG, perhaps. I don't think they're green. So this, this is a standard card. I don't think this is a, no, these are mission cards. So these are your mission cards. You start with 10 mission cards. I don't know if they're the actual mission cards themselves, but you can see there's a cost up there. Ten bucks, you can use it for money. You can. This card is only good for Mars. It's going to take 12 fuel or rockets. You'll draw five uh, luck cards or um, mission cards, and hopefully you'll get those 12. The mission cards have various numbers that you'll add to the rockets. Hopefully you'll make it. It looks like it's a satellite uh, mission for, of some sort. There we go. There's some threat cards. There's some satellite cards. Oh, the this looks like the uh, the base game. No, I don't know. No, uh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look through it. But there's some more art. There's the teal cards, which I know are actually uh, market cards. I don't think the black. I think the black ones are mission uh, standard card. Oh, the black ones I think are the standard cards. Not totally sure. We're going to have to wait till I read the rules and, and play this game. But that is what is in the box is today. If I could close the boxes, that is what's in the box today. I'm going to I'm going to organize this and maybe learn how to play later on. But uh, I am on my lunch hour right now, so I do want to go back to uh, work. We're going to pile up and make a big big stack of stuff. But that's what I got in the mail last day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, boxing, unboxing. And I boxed it back up, of course. My name is Harry Jacobs. And I appreciate you being here. Again, let me remind you, hit the like button if you like the content. Hit the subscribe so that you become a subscriber. And hit the bell to be notified. If you have any comments or questions, put them down below. I would appreciate it. I do try to answer everyone. I'm really getting tired of the bots, so it'd be kind of nice if there were real people out there. So please uh, feel free to uh, comment. I am on a, a couple of sites. I am on Board Game Revolution. I'm on Board Games for One. I'm on Everything Board Games. Uh, solo Player Games. So I am out there on Facebook. My name is Harry Jacobs. You'll see my icon, uh, North of 60 Gaming. So uh, look for me, say hi if you've got questions. If you need help with anything, ask some questions. Pick my brain. It might hurt me. Just don't eat my brain. Just, just pick it for knowledge. knowledge. Anyway, guys, talk to you later.